When a killer starts targeting the students of a school, their Italian professor who's known to have questionable relationships with them becomes the prime suspect. However, as more victims are found, they eventually uncover something more sinister at play. While on a riverboat ride, Enrico seduces Elizabeth, but his lover spots a woman being chased nearby. Her companion assures her that no one's around, but she soon sees a glimpse of a knife. Elizabeth warns her lover about it, but Enrico thinks she's making excuses to decline him. With that, he decides to leave, though he accidentally drops a pen on his way. The next day, as Enrico and his wife Herta prepare for work, they learn from a news report about a murder discovered at the river that morning. Hearing this, Enrico secretly heads to the site where police process a dead woman's body, confirming that Elizabeth did see someone getting attacked yesterday. Enrico then drives to the school where the police have gathered the staff at the headmaster's office. Headmaster Leach introduces Inspector Barth, who shows the teachers, Mr. Newton, Father Weber, and Kane, the photo of the victim. Herta, who's the music and German teacher, is horrified upon seeing the images. Finally, Enrico sees the photos where the victim was stabbed between her legs. The victim was Hilda, a student at the school whose parents reported her missing yesterday evening. After this meeting, Enrico meets his students and shares about Hilda's grim fate. One of her friends, Janet, cries upon hearing this. Brenda comments that she knew something happened because Hilda's parents called last night. Just then, Father Herbert arrives and asks the students to prepare for mass. The students later assemble in the church, but Elizabeth slips out and meets with Enrico. As they drive off, Elizabeth admits that she is unsure how to explain what she saw yesterday, but believes she should go to the police. Enrico opposes this since she'll have to say who she was with at that time, and they can't afford a controversy. With this, the student agrees to keep quiet. That afternoon, Herta throws a newspaper at her husband where the front page shows how Enrico went to the crime scene that morning. This image prompts Barth to later investigate Enrico, so the teacher claims he checked the crime scene out of curiosity. However, Barth points out that the crime scene was practically in the middle of nowhere, making it strange for Enrico to find it then head to school all within 20 minutes after leaving home. Enrico claims that he heard the location from the news, but Barth argues that the news never declared the exact location. The teacher figures out that he's a suspect, but Barth denies this though he knows he's hiding something. With that, the inspector asks where he was at the time of the murder. Enrico states that he was driving around the city to cool off after a fight with his wife. The inspector then notes that Hilda took Italian class specifically because Enrico was the professor, but her passing didn't seem to bother him. Barth believes this was because his mind was elsewhere. Despite this, he releases the teacher before heading to the forensic laboratory where the team has collected a green pin and the pen Enrico dropped yesterday. The inspector then meets with Hilda's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Erickson, to interrogate them on their whereabouts yesterday. The father recounts that they went to church and Hilda went to make a confession. That afternoon, however, she didn't come home. With a heavy heart, Mr. Erickson asks if Hilda was taken advantage of. To explain, Barth leads the father to the lab where they show an x-ray image of a machete plunged deep inside the victim. Soon, at Hilda's funeral, Janet and Elizabeth excuse themselves to make their confessions just before Brenda finishes hers. That afternoon, Enrico invites Elizabeth to spend some alone time, given that they haven't been together in a week. Excitedly, Elizabeth lies to her uncle, Colonel Sekla, that she'll be heading to her friend's house. As the woman rides out, however, a car follows her but goes past her when she arrives at the hotel. Soon, Elizabeth meets Enrico in his room where he set up her favorite flowers and music. Just then, the phone rings, but when Enrico answers it, nobody speaks on the other end so he hangs up. The couple proceeds to use their private moment that evening, though Elizabeth gets flashbacks of what she saw by the river, interrupting the mood. Days later, Herta finally confronts her husband, knowing that he's keeping something from her. Given that he went to see Hilda's body upon hearing of the crime, she suspects that he had a relationship with her. Enrico adamantly denies this just as the doorbell rings. Barth arrives and as the couple makes drinks, for him, the inspector places a pen on their coffee table. He then starts their interview but pretends to have lost his pen. With this, Herta picks up the pen on the coffee table, mentioning that it's her husband's. Seeing this surprises Enrico. The wife then gives the man privacy, allowing Barth to tell Enrico that they found his pen at the scene of Hilda's murder. Cornered, the professor decides to confess but asserts that his story must be confidential. Unaware that his wife is listening, he confesses that he was with Elizabeth who saw the murder happening. However, he mistook
took it as her making up excuses to reject him. Meanwhile, Janet receives a call at home claiming to be the father of one of her friends. He mentions that his daughter had misplaced her Italian book, so he's passing by to borrow Janet's. The woman agrees and heads outside to hand over the book, only for the man in the car to grab her. Janet is soon dragged through a field where her captor removes her uniform before using a knife on her. As if sensing what happened, Elizabeth wakes up in a cold sweat. Frightened, she finally recalls seeing the clothes of the man who killed Hilda at the river. With this, she calls Enrico, asking him to meet with her. When he arrives, she hops into his car, recounting how she saw that Hilda was being chased by a man wearing a priest's habit. In the morning, Janet's body is discovered. Upon learning of her demise, Elizabeth decides to speak up and approaches Professor Bascombe. The professor then takes the student to the office where she confesses to being at the river during Hilda's murder. She witnessed the crime, though she didn't say anything since she wasn't sure about what she saw. She then mentions seeing the killer wearing a priest's habit. When asked why she was there, the woman just says that she was with her lover but asserts that he didn't see anything. Later, Enrico thanks his lover for not mentioning him during her statement. She then asks to see him before she goes to the headquarters, and the man agrees. Enrico then meets with Bascombe who knows that he is Elizabeth's lover. He warns the younger professor to be careful since he might become a suspect, but Enrico assures him that he told Barth his story already. Later, some of the students students take a shower break, unaware that someone can see them from a hole in the wall. That afternoon, someone arrives at the hotel room where Elizabeth waits for her lover. The person then plunges the woman into the water, drowning her. The perpetrator rushes out just as a hotel attendant emerges from the elevator, forcing him to take the stairs instead. Enrico discovers the body not long after and calls the police. He tells Barth that he arrived at 4 in the afternoon, but Barth notes that the professor left the school at 1. Enrico explains that he wanted to talk with his wife at home first, though she wasn't there. Just then, the coroner tells Barth that there were hair strands under Elizabeth's fingernails, possibly from the killer. With this, Barth sends Enrico to the station while he hitches a ride in Sekla's car. The man firmly believes that Enrico killed his niece, though Barth reminds him that they're not sure yet. Enrico soon arrives at the police station where a forensic scientist takes hair samples from him to compare them to the ones found at the crime scene. Meanwhile, Sekla arrives at Barth's office. Office, insisting on speaking to Enrico personally. The inspector refuses since they don't have enough evidence to pin the crimes on him. This angers the colonel, so he walks away. Herta then meets with Barth. Despite her husband's unfaithfulness, she believes that he's innocent. Soon, the school staff is questioned about Enrico's involvement with the victims. Leach asserts that he didn't know that the teacher was involved with any of the students. However, the other teachers express their distrust of the Italian teacher. In contrast, Bascombe understands Enrico's desire for a another woman, given that his wife is distant towards him. He also doubts Elizabeth was killed to cover up the other murders given that she already told them that she saw the killer wearing a priest's habit. Irritated about learning of this too late, Barth heads to his office where the coroner informs him that the hair from the crime scene didn't match Enrico's. Their autopsy also indicated that Elizabeth remained untouched despite her relationship with her Italian teacher. That evening, officers take the hotel attendant who saw Elizabeth's killer to identify which kind of habit the perpetrator was wearing. The man, however, doesn't remember, though he adds that the killer had a beard. Hearing this, Barth calls the coroner to ask if the hair found under Elizabeth's fingernails could have been from a beard. The coroner says it's possible, though it'd have to be a fake beard, given that the hair strands were apparently dead. The next day, Barth interviews Herta as to why she wasn't able to meet Enrico yesterday. She claims that she avoided the conversation since she already knew what he wanted to talk to her about. He then assures her that Enrico is no longer a suspect, adding that Elizabeth wasn't touched by her husband. This delights the wife, so she hurries to pick up her husband to go home home together. Upon arriving home, they receive a letter from the headmaster announcing that Enrico has been fired over the controversy. Herta tries to cheer her husband up despite this as she's ready to fix their relationship. However, Enrico is adamant about finding Elizabeth's killer, so Herta promises to help. Later that day, Barth asks her to students if they know any priest with a beard. Helen recounts that there's a new bearded priest who takes their confessions. Brenda adds that she and Janet made their confessions to him during Hilda's funeral, piquing Barth's curiosity. After the inspector leaves, Herta asks about Brenda's friendship with Hilda and Janet. The student claims that they were just friends, but another student argues that Brenda, Hilda, Janet, and Helen were very close. This allows the teacher to learn about the student's secret society where they have private times with the university. 
university students. She later shares this with her husband, so Enrico visits the home of one of the men their students used to meet. An unclothed woman welcomes him inside as she models for the student, Philip. The man confirms that he knew Hilda and Janet, whom he and his friends knew as ladies with interests in intimacy. He adds that Brenda and Helen also hung out with him and his fellow university students, but Elizabeth didn't. The four were known to be active in bed, even sharing intimacy as a group. However, they've stopped inviting men to their activities after what happened to Solange. Solange was a student from a different school who joined the ladies. However, she disappeared last year. Meanwhile, Bart visits the school's church where he asks Weber and Herbert about the other priest. They insist that they're the only ones who take the students' confessions, but Barth points out that the mysterious priest could have slipped into one of the booths to speak to the students. Soon, Elizabeth and Janet are taken to their graves. As the mourners watch, a young man gives a note to Helen, which she passes to Brenda after reading it. The content has Brenda glaring at her friend. When the mourners start leaving, Enrico slips in to ask Helen and Brenda about Solange. However, they deny knowing about her, so Herta later calls up every other school to find where Solange was enrolled, leading them to find where she lives. Before letting her husband go to her, Herta seduces him, leading to the couple reigniting their passion. Unbeknownst to them, Brenda sneaks into their building and slips a note into Enrico's mailbox. In the morning, Herta goes to school while Enrico visits Solange's address, only to discover that someone else is living there. The man then heads home and collects his letters, but doesn't notice when he accidentally drops Brenda's note. Someone later picks it up, seeing Brenda informing her former teacher that a woman named Ruth knew everything. By the time Enrico rushes out of the apartment, the security guard stops him to give him the note. With this, Enrico drives to the address written there, only to discover Ruth's dead body. He reports this to Barth, sharing that he was directed to this address likely by one of his students. Later, Brenda and Helen are at the school shower with the latter scared after after learning about Ruth's death. Helen wonders about telling the police what they know, but Brenda reminds her that they promised never to tell. Unbeknownst to them, someone is watching them from the hole in the wall, who turns out to be Newton. Herta soon asks Brenda and Helen about Ruth, but the students claim to not know her. Hearing this, Barth takes Brenda and Herta away to reveal that he's spoken to the former's mother. Ruth was apparently a maid at Brenda's house, so the student quickly lies that she didn't know her former maid's real name since she called her by a nickname. On another day, as Herta tries to let her husband relax in the park, Enrico spots a young woman looking at them. The woman's nanny starts chasing after her and calls her Solange, though the couple doesn't notice that she is the one they're looking for. That night, Brenda receives a call from a mysterious person who directs her to go to the amusement park tomorrow. The student reports this to the police, so Barth plans a sting operation to catch the killer. The following day, Brenda and her friends arrive at the amusement park. As she separates from her friends, she finds a dazed Solange Solange riding the carousel. She pulls the woman away to talk, but Solange remains quiet. As Brenda tries to get her to talk, they pass by Sergeant Kramer, who's undercover. Soon, Helen and her friend notice that Brenda is gone, and when they ask Kramer if he'd seen them, he realizes that the two ladies have disappeared. Not long after Barth discovers that Brenda has disappeared, Bascomb also reports that his daughter, Solange, is missing. Enrico, who's monitoring the investigation, is surprised that Solange is Bascomb's daughter. The inspector explains that the young lady isn't mentally well, which might be why his colleague doesn't talk about her. Kramer then confirms that Solange was the same woman walking with Brenda earlier. With this, Barth, Enrico, and Herta visit Bascom's house for clues. They check Solange's room where Enrico notices the Italian book he teaches in the bookcase. Meanwhile, the inspector finds a green pin similar to the one from the crime scene of Hilda's murder. While driving home after this, Herta and Enrico speculate how the killer knew Solange when she hadn't been attending school since last year. Suddenly, Enrico gets an idea. Unbeknownst to them, Brenda is being held by the killer, who demands to know what happened between her friends and Solange last year. The frightened woman admits she knew Ruth's secret operation, so she and her friends went to her to fix Solange's problem. During one of their intimate activities, Solange conceived. Once they arrived at Ruth's house, Elizabeth and Hilda tried talking Solange out of getting rid of her child. The rest, however, convinced Solange to continue, so with them holding her down, down, Ruth removed what was growing inside Solange's body, though the process traumatized her. Angered by this, the killer removes Brenda's clothes, then burns them. Now that he knows the truth, he places Brenda on the floor while a mournful Solange watches. Meanwhile, Enrico heads to Janet's house and confirms
confirms that her Italian book is missing. He quickly calls Barth to investigate Bascombe, but when they return to the house, no one answers the door. Despite this, Enrico breaks the door down and grabs the Italian book he found, asserting that since Solange stopped going to school, she shouldn't have had that book. He insists that it's Janet's copy instead. Convinced, Barth calls the station to search for Bascombe but stops when Solange appears. Bascombe follows soon after, but seeing everyone else in his house, he pretends to be surprised that his daughter is back. Barth then leads Bascombe and Enrico to the former's office, not knowing that Solange uses this chance to take Herta to the attic, where she discovers the killer's habit and fake beard. Herta quickly shouts for Barth to alert him, leaving Enrico to watch over Bascombe. In the attic, Barth and an officer search the place and soon find Brenda who's still alive. Knowing that he's caught, Bascombe slowly opens the drawer on his desk, and before Enrico can react, a shot is fired. Barth and Herta quickly rush to check and find that Bascombe had shot himself, refusing to be arrested for exacting revenge on the students who led to his daughter's traumatic ordeal. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.